I am a dance movement therapist, and I treat military patients. Yes, you heard me correctly. I'm a dance movement therapist, and I treat military patients. A confusing vision of camouflage and tutus may be coming to mind. <laughs> and you're probably wondering, what is dance movement therapy? You're thinking, how in the heck is she going to get a bunch of soldiers to dance? Well, you'd be surprised. First, some startling statistics. Veterans make up as much as one-third of the nation's population of homeless people. Up to 20% of veterans suffer from some level of traumatic brain injury. More than 40% of the U.S. soldiers from the Iraq and Afghanistan wars seen at the VA hospitals suffer from some mental health disorder or psychosocial behavioral problem. 22 veterans die by suicide every day. That's one veteran every 65 minutes. Not surprisingly, the need for mental health services has overwhelmed the VAs and military medical centers. In response, President Obama put forth an executive order in August 2012 to improve access to mental health services for veterans, service members, and their families. As part of the initiative, I facilitate dance movement therapy groups with traumatized veterans and active duty military in various therapeutic settings. We have danced in a nursing home, an outpatient clinic for chronic pain, an inpatient psychiatric unit, and a residential substance abuse rehabilitation program. I've danced with veterans as young as 17 and as old as 98. In all of them, I've seen a shift a change in perspective, or perhaps an expansion of understanding of the deep connection between mind and body. Expressing themselves through movement has given them a means by which to communicate some of their most difficult emotions in a way that words just cannot capture. I'm often met with wonder and curiosity when I tell people what it is that I do. They often ask, aren't they resistant? And how do you get them to dance? Well, yes, initially there is some resistance, but I find that once I give them the permission to dance, that it is allowed, the walls quickly crumble. And when I say dance, I mean move, stretch, jump, twist, turn, breathe. We're not talking about dance in the traditional sense. There are many ways to express ourselves in an embodied way, through movement, gesture, a look, facial expression, voice, sound, breath. It is about being in the body and moving in a way that feels authentic and meaningful. What I find is that the patients have a deep need to be creative and to play, and that that need has not been being answered for a very long time. Most of them have left creativity behind in childhood. Dance therapy provides them with a safe way to express, process, and heal their trauma. A big part of the dance movement therapy process is to really meet people where they are at. This is where I begin with the military and veteran patients. Moving together in a group formation is not new to veterans. They PT or engage in physical training together as a unit. They move and sink in a circle, just like in a dance movement therapy group. So this is where I start with them. We stand in a circle and we lead each other in movement. It is from this point that the healing really begins to happen. Each person's personal story begins to transform and take new shape, offering a new perspective on life. By embodying their stories with the support of their comrades, they are able to move forward with a new understanding that maybe life will be okay. Over the years, I've collected quotes from veterans in the, our groups together and kept them as a reminder of the growth, change, and healing that has happened in the dance space. I think that the best way to understand the connection between dance and the military experience is to witness the moving words of veterans. From World War II and Korean War veterans, I've heard when we move together, it's like family 
or it reminds me of when I used to dance with my wife. From Desert Storm veterans, I've heard, it straightened out a lot of my kinks. I can move, it makes me feel great. I feel like a new man. It really works for me and all of the veterans. I forget about everything, all my worries. The dance has helped to relieve the pain. From OEF, OIF veterans, it makes me feel one with myself. It frees my mind and lets my spirit dig deep into my issues and get a new perspective. My mind is like a bad neighborhood. I can't go in there alone. But with the support of the group, I can go anywhere. And incorporating dance into my life has been a stress relief and brought back awesome childhood memories. I look forward to incorporating it into my family's life. It is a privilege to be able to witness the stories of our nation's military. I feel such reverence for these men and women and for the sacrifices that they have made to protect our freedoms. It is with humility that I join them in their dance to healing.